Have you ever won an argument with someone over the internet? Normally when you prove someone wrong, it's pretty satisfying. Your ego just gets massive and you establish yourself as the better human. But sometimes people just take such dumb and ignorant stances that maybe it's not worth it. But that would make for a very entertaining video, so allow me to introduce you to our friend Pantorius. Pantorius had a Twitter and now he doesn't. I'll tell you why he doesn't, but first, let me tell you what he had to say. So I was on Twitter when someone added me with a budget question like they normally do, trying to get some help building their PC. And then before I could respond, someone already did. You can't build a budget PC for four or $500 that would run Apex and Fortnite well. I was pretty interested that some random took such a hard stance on something so. Oh really? You can't? And then him being the open-minded individual that he is, he said, no. So at this point, I figured I might as well have some fun with this guy. How much would you like to bet? To which he gave me a much more mature response than I expected. I'm 35, been putting together my own PC since I was 12. If you want a good PC that will run Apex and Fortnite well without lag, stutters, or hiccups and 180 plus frame rate, you will spend $1,500 plus. Can you put one together for 500? Yes. Will it run those games well? No. Okay, Boomer, can't argue with 23 years of experience, or maybe we can. You see, I actually tried to get this guy on my Twitch stream live for an interview. I messaged him on Twitter asking if he would be on it, and he blocked me. So I asked one of my moderators to message this guy, and it turns out the great Pantorius felt so strongly about his opinion that he deleted his Twitter account. After a little more research, we did find him on the internet and found a way to get a hold of him. I'll tell you what we're gonna do at the end of the video, so if you wanna catch that, make sure you go to the link in the description and click follow. Turn on live notifications or you won't see it. Anyways, so apparently a good computer for cheaper than $500 is impossible. You like my new slider? I just got it. Now why is 180 FPS the metric for good? No clue, but it shouldn't be impossible. The only thing we need to focus on getting is a really good graphics card, which admittedly is the hardest part. In case you're unaware, the graphics card is pretty much always the most expensive part in a computer build these days. If you want good gaming performance, it is always going to be the biggest part of your budget. So while we're looking for a good deal on that, we're going to go pick up some other cheap parts that we need for this build. <laughs> How's it going? Nice to meet you, Chris. Spencer. Okay. Cool. All right. 20, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Alrighty. If there's any problems with them, they should all be fine. Awesome. We, they were lightly used for a work project, but we upgraded, so. Looks good to me. We, Thank you so much. We Appreciate wiped it. them and reformatted them three times just to make sure it... Hey, how's it going? Okay, cool. Mind if I check it out here? This should be oh, 60. Okay. Awesome, perfect. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good one. Okay, so I did get our RAM and SSD, and I also made a deal for the CPU and cooler. Unfortunately, I didn't get that on video because I just had the guy drop it off at my house. I do have a picture of the deal as proof. Anyways, I tried making a deal for a graphics card while I was out, and unfortunately, someone ghosted me which is totally fine because we got a better deal for another graphics card. Someone is selling their old GTX 1070 for $150. Damn! This is perfect because this is the cheapest eight gigabyte graphics card that is available right now that we need to hit those high FPS numbers. I also had to order a motherboard because I looked everywhere in town and no one is selling a motherboard that will hold our Ryzen 7 1700. So I just went ahead and ordered the cheapest thing that I could find online. And now we just need to pick up a few more things and then we have everything we need. Do I get bonus points for putting this all together in like two days? I feel like I should get bonus points. This video is sponsored by CyberGhost VPN. Now on the chance you don't know, a VPN is a virtual private network. What a VPN does is it allows you to create a secure connection to another network over the internet. Why would you need one? Well, a VPN can help you access a region restricted website that wouldn't be available to you otherwise. And it can help shield your browsing activity from prying eyes over public Wi-Fi. It basically gives you an extra layer of protection while you are on the internet. So why use CyberGhost? Well, 
they are a company that has been around for 15 years and have over 30 million customers around the world. CyberGhost VPN has dedicated apps across all platforms. Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, Android TV, Fire Stick, Linux, and even for routers. Their extensive network has over 6,100 VPN servers. These are located across 90 countries all over the world. The best part is one CyberGhost subscription can cover up to seven different devices. They have a 45 money back guarantee and they have 24 seven customer service. And if you click the link in the description, you will get a discounted price on CyberGhost VPN service. So go ahead and check that out. I promise you a VPN is something you need, especially if you spend your time at all on the internet. Hello. Hey. Chris, nice to meet you. Yes, Charles. Yeah, hey, cool. it's me. Nice to meet you. And it's how much again? Uh, one fifty. Got it. Okay, perfect. Mind if I check it out? Yep. What'd you use it for? Uh, gaming. Okay. What games you play? Final Fantasy, uh, League of Legends, that kind of stuff. Awesome. Everything looks good. Thank you so much, Charles. Appreciate right, you. Have a good one. GQ, whatever. So uh, this one was actually 40 bucks. I'm sorry I didn't get the cash exchange. I know that's what I try to use to be legitimate, but homeboy uh, was missing his second uh, eight pin cable for the graphics card, the six plus two, whatever you want to call it. He wanted it at 50, which I believe I have somewhere in the messages. I'll try to show it on screen. But uh, because he was missing one, he went back home and he got me an extra one that's not EVGA. So now I got it for 40 and I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but uh, hopefully it does. And last but not least, we gotta get the case, which we are actually getting from a store. And the store we are getting it from is the electronic store here in Las Vegas that is pretty much just about to go out of business. If you look around me, this parking lot is pretty much empty. And there was a point in time where it was the only electronic store you would go to because, well, it used to be pretty cool. Uh, but it's going out of business and I'm not going to tell you which store it is because one of my sponsors conflicts with it. So if you got a brain or you live in Vegas, you know what store I'm talking about. The motherboard just got here, so we have everything we need now. We're actually gonna build it live on stream, so there's no way for me to fudge any of the numbers. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see if this computer actually works. Ready, that was a terrible peel, you disappoint me. I agree, it wasn't the best peel. It could have been better. I apologize. When I have to use my left hand, I usually just fuck up, I'm not lefty. Three, two, one. It's having a boot issue. Let me try taking out one of the rams. Uh, uh, let me try taking out one of the rams. Oh! It works! Okay, perfect, awesome. Now I'm assuming most of you guys have heard the term overclocking, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna install MSI Afterburner right now, and we're gonna see how hard we can push this card and then try to get over the 180 FPS sweet spot that we're looking for. 150, enter, 150, enter. Okay, we're staying above 180. Oh! No! The overclock is too strong! It's going now. This is what I assume to be regular gameplay. We'll try. Oh! Okay! Wait, that's a bot. I'll take it! We take these. Look at the FPS we're getting. I know we're inside and this could be called cheating, but that's fine. Look at this. I'm ending their career. Okay. I'm... Ah, get off of me! No! No, 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 no! Okay.
In case anyone was wondering if it was possible to build a computer for under $500 that can play games at high enough FPS, the answer is yes. So that is the end of the video, but like I did promise earlier, there is going to be some follow-up to this. Pantorius, this message is specifically for you. You see, we know where to get a hold of you now. Well, me and my moderators do. We're gonna message you again. I don't know if you've heard, but I have kind of a nice computer lying around. It didn't cost me too much, you know, just approximately 475. And it plays games pretty well. I'm willing to give that to you for free on the condition that you admit on my stream that I was right and you were wrong. No take backs. The offer is open. We'll send this over to you and we'll see what you have to say. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video creative, entertaining, or informative in any way, shape, or form. And as always, have a great day.